Go ahead, Jordan. Anthony, with your um, your outing tonight, obviously over 20 pitches in, in each of your innings, what do you um, sort of attribute that to and what maybe do you take away from that? Uh, you know, obviously I had some <clears throat> location issue today and you know, my stuff felt good. It was kind of just getting behind guys a little bit. And obviously you could tell with a couple walks that I had that you know, that was a problem and, you know, just – you need to do a better job of getting ahead of guys and then putting them away when I do. The curveball still, I mean, was looking like a pretty good out pitch for you. I know that was the pitch you used on a few of the um, strikeouts. How, how is that pitch feeling for you right now? And, you know, level of confidence, that sort of thing. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, I think, you know, all my stuff was there today. It was just kind of a little bit wild. So I think I just got to, you know, work on that a little bit and, and you know, everything will play better. Thanks. Hey, Anthony, uh, the broadcast caught you looking down at your finger um, a couple times, uh, kept checking it. Did you have a bit of a blister going? What was uh, what was up with that? Yeah, I had a little uh, cut on my finger, but I think I should be all right. It's not, not really a big deal or anything, I don't think. Did you find it affected uh, one or more of your pitches tonight? No, I felt it a little bit in the fourth inning after the first out and you know I think had a fine inning that inning so I think it was it shouldn't really be an issue hey Anthony uh it seems like at each one of your starts it's like you have all these great pieces coming together and then there's a sort of a little thing that maybe kind of gets in the way I'm just wondering from your perspective what do you feel like is the thing that sort of just brings the whole package together for you yeah, I mean, it's definitely frustrating just because I know that I'm so close to, you know, being able to rip off a really good outing. So I think honestly, just getting that fastball command, you know, a little bit better and then just being able to put guys away when I get ahead, just got to get ahead and stay ahead. And then, you know, if that if that all happens then you know, I think be able to rip off a good one. And just in terms of uh, uh, fastball command, what types of things do you do uh, between starts and maybe in outings, look for cues to try and sort of get yourself uh, back over the plate on a more consistent basis? Yeah, I think the number one thing that I do is I kind of fall off towards the third base side a little bit. And then, you know, I was kind of yanking a lot of fastballs over to that side. So I think, you know, working with Pete and, you know, kind of just trying to stay more towards home plate and then everything will will play a lot better.